Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm back in Norfolk to check out one of the fastest eroding coastlines in Britain. The village that one day might sadly not be here. In fact, some experts say within the next 30 years, around about 90 meters of the coastline here in Haysborough will be lost to the sea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around Haysborough because actually it's really pretty. I'm gonna show you the church, the famous lighthouse, and how shocking the erosion is here. You have to see for yourself. So we're gonna start the tour just here by the Haysborough Village sign. And um, before we go down to the beach and the lighthouse, we're gonna check out the church because this has been here since the 15th century. It's also a grade one listed building. And as the rate of erosion continues in Haysborough, sad to say this may one day end up in the North Sea. I think we can uh, walk through. It's very peaceful. It's kind of like on a hill. Coming around here, you can just see how close it is to the sea. Obviously from the air, you see it a lot more. Just look at that. There's a bench there to sit on. I do love the fact that um, some churches are left open for you to go in and just look at the splendour of the buildings. It is so quiet in here. It's not very often I do videos in churches, but. Um, Haysborough Church, of course, is, is definitely worth coming inside and taking a look at this magnificent building. And some churches by the sea, especially up this high, can be quite breezy and the wind howls through, but um, listen to that. Ultra quiet. And considering it's a very windy day as well. A little secret door there, look. And look at this, I've never seen a tin of Quality Street in the church. Now I thought actually maybe people are putting money in here for donations or something. But no, there's actually Quality Street sweets in here. And typically, the ones that nobody likes, the toffee penny ones. <laughs> so, leaving the church behind. Obviously Haysborough is very small, but uh, if you're coming here, there is one specific place to park if you want to get down to the beach which is where we're going to head to and of course we're going to check out the lighthouse that isn't actually open but we can go pretty close up to it uh, and check out something special about this lighthouse that is so different compared to many other lighthouses in the UK. So let's just quickly have a wander up the hill it's literally called the hill. Some really beautiful houses in fact there are a lot of houses I think over at least a hundred houses in Haysborough, they're actually uh, grade two listed as well. And this is the, uh, the sad truth about some of these houses that uh, could end up one day on the beach. So this is the local pub here. A famous author, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, wrote The Adventures of the Dancing Man here back in 1903. And just coming into this pub, look how old fashioned it is, look at that. Look at that light. And it's the doors. Look at that, how old fashioned they are. Let's have a quick nose. So a small but very quaint pub here in Haysborough. Let's head back down the hill and then on to 
Haysborough Lighthouse. Sun's come out, which is nice. You can probably just see there, just popping over the wall, is the, the lighthouse. And this is the, uh, the best way to get down towards the beach. So we head down here to the road aptly named Lighthouse Lane. There you go, we can see it coming into view now. In fact, you can see the lighthouse um, as you drive on the A149 on the uh, North Norfolk Coastal Road towards uh, to Cromer. And it's kind of sandwiched in between Sea Pooling and uh, Bacton in the distance. Easy to find, it's well signposted. So the reason why this lighthouse is special because it's the only independent operated working lighthouse in the UK and it's been guiding mariners in the North Sea since 1791. Um, I think it's similar in height to Southwold Lighthouse and the notable famous Haysborough colours which are the red and white but this place is open um, in the summer, in fact it's open from Easter 2022 this year. It's quite strange actually, as you get closer to it, it doesn't look as big as it does from further away. But in the sunshine, that looks beautiful, look at that. So we leave the lighthouse lane and we head down towards the beach. So it's estimated that in the next 20 years, Haysborough is going to lose 97 metres of coastline. And I think what really stands out is when you come up this road towards the beach. And just here on the right, you've got some old Coast Guard cottages. Love these little cottages by the sea. And coming up on my left would have also been more cottages and I think one of the last remaining ones is here. I don't know if anyone lives in there still. Well, there is one more actually. But beyond this house here, there was a row of cottages and a few more houses. Just goes to show how much has actually been lost to the sea. So the car park, which is reasonably new, is there. This is where the old road used to be. And believe it or not, they actually have to put a sign here that says road ahead closed. And this is the most shocking bit about Haysborough is when you see this road just going onto the beach. It's so sad to see. As you can see, the road, even on Google Maps, is still there. You can see where it actually still sticks out and how much has been lost. And the rate of erosion up to another 90 or so meters could be lost in the next 20 years. And this is really interesting because somebody's wrote this on here. It says distance from end of the road to this barrier on the 13th of December, 2021, eight meters. Now, don't know if you're good with meters. Don't think too much has been lost obviously since December, but it'll be interesting to see if you come back here within a year, what it will be like. I just quickly walk up here. Obviously, I'm not going to go too close, but I've got my gimbal, which means uh, I can stretch out. You can just see the other side of the sign there and the road. Haysborough Lighthouse in the distance. And just look at that. How the road just literally crumbles away. So what is the beach like? Obviously, there's been a lot of erosion here, but the beach is still pretty lovely. Um, and you can actually see the state of erosion a lot better by going down to the beach but um, there's a car park that uh, gets pretty full up in the summer just here in the shadow of Haysborough Lighthouse but you can see where we are and obviously just the church up there and then Haysborough Lighthouse just there And obviously it's not a good idea to go swimming 
in the sea here because of the debris and the rock. So this is the old entrance to the beach where barriers have been put up because literally this pathway down to the beach obviously is eroding away too but people are still using this to get down to the beach however I'm going to walk further up there towards those houses to show you some scary erosion and how quickly it's eating into the Norfolk countryside and to get down to the beach the proper way. You can even see just here, which is actually not really that high, even the cliff is eroding here with all the rain we've had. I mean, I mean it's quite far from the beach and quite far from the other part of the cliff edge, but even here, look, it's, uh, it's just crumbling away. You can see the rate of erosion on the cliffs here and just how the sea is eating away every time we get a high spring tide or just a high tide in general with the winds coming in from the north just look at this as i come up here it's almost like it's a big sinkhole that's appeared this is not very high but you can just see how the land is just crumbling away It's almost like a ravine. Shocking, isn't it? Look at that. I mean, literally, you can see how the sea has literally come in and eroded it away. And I think people, some people use this as a bit of a beach access point as well. Look, even here, you can just see how it's just gradually eating away at the land. So I've just walked down on the beach towards Haysborough, and this is what I was just talking about from above. Look, you can actually walk in here and how the sea now at high tide just literally comes in here. You can see some of the debris that's been washed up, bits of trees and stuff like that. But yeah, you can see how this part of the cliff is being eaten away because, well, it's just sand underneath it some clay and sand and that's it and obviously make sure you check tide times because uh, if the tide comes in you don't want to get stuck in there but you can see now that I'm on the beach the state of erosion looks so much more dramatic as we walk up towards Haysborough village there you go we can just see the top of the lighthouse and the top of the church and what's really interesting is when the sea erodes the cliff, you see what was left. And you can see a tree. Now, I don't know whether that's been washed up or that's the roots going into the beach that was here. You can see evidence of buildings and houses and bricks on the beach as well. You see those dark little wooden struts? They were the sea defences that were kind of doing their thing up until 2013 so even the old walkway down to the beach is eroding as well I mean this looks like it's uh, almost volcanic rock but uh, that as you can see as I'm putting my fingernails in there is pretty much just clay so although that looks like it's uh, pretty rock solid that is soft clay but look at that it, it is amazing. The clay actually looks like hard rock. It's almost like people have been chiseling away at the clay. I mean, look at this. So obviously the rocks are offering a little bit of protection, but uh, the power of the North Sea, as you can see, is uh, so strong that uh, I don't know how long it can actually hold it back for. It's amazing how it's carved out these different areas in the, uh, in the clay. Look at that. I mean, obviously pick your uh, tide times right. And it is actually fascinating to see the layers of clay and how they undulate and how they look 
from here on the beach. It is crazy. It feels like I'm on a different planet almost. Look at that. And you can see up there, one by one, how the trees are falling. So as you can see, the cliffs are getting a lot higher now. Wow, look how soft and smooth the sand is. And we're coming around to where I showed you the road that literally was eroding away. You can see here the old sea defences, the old wooden ones that have uh, took definitely a battering over the years. I kind of really do look spooky just uh, sat here like this, especially now when it's almost low tide. It's fascinating to see. It's almost like it's a shipwreck or something. And you can see them just lining the beach. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't and you want to see more videos from the great British seaside. And I'll see you next time.